I'm immediately on board with this menu music. How's it going guys? My name is Graham. Welcome to Killer Chambers, the brand new game from Village Bench. Thank you to those developers for sending me a copy of this. I believe it comes out April 4th. Really cool concept. You seem to move across into like a grid of tiny little rooms that are filled with traps and obstacles. You just have to, have to survive these tiny little mini game rooms almost to move on to the next one. Chambers, maybe I should use the game's terminology. Chambers that you have to survive. <sighs> That's the best I've ever whistled on command like that. I'm a terrible whistler. And so I was just waiting for that to fail. That was not a good whistle, but I expected worse. There is nothing better than a tasty, unhealthy meal. Who's there? Who in the heavens? An unknown enemy attacked. The kingdom has been. Attacked? The kingdom has been. Ah! What was that? Oh, you got a little bit more to tack on there, a little bit more exposition, and maybe uh, a little bit more valuable information. He is very strong. Wait! No! Brave Lord! Go to the palace immediately! Hurry before he closes the gate that leads there. I am Brave Lord, and I'm pretty sure the bad guy is Lord Grave? It's, it's a little bit backwards. It's slightly different. I like the I like the naming conventions. I saw that on the store page. I have absolutely no idea what he's talking about, but I guess I have to go to the palace. Goodbye, delicious hypercaloric meal. You could like you could take it on the go. It's got like a bone. It's got a built-in carrying device that you can take it around with. Keys, coins, gems, a uh, purse of some kind. Oh, I have to clear this intro room first. The peasant was right. Something is wrong here. The main gates are closed. And I had to crawl through those filthy sewers to enter the castle. Ooh, I like... I mean, he looks cool in his little portrait thing there, but I like the how, how well it translates to the small little pixel version as well. Ah, you there! Stop right where you are! Oh, please, not now. I'm still not ready for... The Ghost of Christmas Past! Ghost of what? Aren't you him? I don't have time for this. Traps! <laughs> All of the traps. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, another one taken care of. Since the death of the king. I don't... What the accent am I doing? I had to get rid of a lot of trespassers like him to protect the crown. I need more time to find a solution. The king is dead? Did you just come back to life? And as a living being? Well... It's my special ability, which I just hope will work every time. I've always wondered that. Deadpool, Wolverine, things like that, if you're like in a sticky situation and you're like, oh, I'll cut my own arm off and then that'll get me. A what if it didn't grow back? What if that was the one time it didn't work? Let me introduce myself. I'm Brave Lord, rescuer of gold. <clears throat> I mean, of kingdoms in distress. Now, let's not waste more time. We must go to the throne room. Lead the way. Wait. Was that a, was that like a, hold well, just wait one second, or was that like a, no, never. I can spend a key? I could earn a key? I couldn't tell what that was all about. I'm ready for the crown, so what exactly do I have to do? You don't even know what you've gotten into? I guess it's not enough to ask you kindly if I may be the new king. Uh, his color changed for a second. Fine, I'll explain it to you, but don't get me wrong. I'm doing this just to see you die horribly in the next room. Setting foot in these grounds, you activated the royal security system. Every room of the castle is now filled with deadly traps. And only if you survive long enough for the hourglass to end, you get the key to open the door to the next room. Sounds simple enough. We'll see about that. <laughs> Still working on my evil laugh. Most of the lords die in this very first room because they think jumping is not a noble activity. Ah, okay, simple enough. There's like a very nice healthy amount of like, they slot into place and then go and it's like j just enough that even though I'm brand new to it to react to it. So I am very hopeful that the traps are designed in such a similar way across the entire game that you can like snappily learn it on like WarioWare style first time seeing it but you, it's intuitive enough. 
Anyone could have done it better. Nevertheless, now that you've warmed up, it's a good time to bend your knees and crunch. Oh, you wiped out my hat, dude. I hope there's a way to crouch much lower to protect that. Was it too hard? I did hear something crack inside my legs. <laughs> You're doomed! Crunchy bones will never make it through all my traps. Jump while crouching like a cute little rabbit. Are you too ashamed to do that? Whoop. It is like a little rabbit. He really like, he really throws his body into it like he's doing burpees. Ah, take that you traps! Oh, don't get your hopes so high. The arrows in this room are not over yet. Let's review all your moves. Oh, okay, well. You, you really are, are putting in the work to make sure I, I know. Tea bags? Did it say plus 10 for tea bags? I assume that was not what it said. I managed to dodge that one when it very clearly wanted me to do a crouch jump and I did a regular one. So, there's options. There's a flexibility to it. Haha! -ha! Oh god, okay. <laughs> So please be gentle is the achievement. Thanks for the help, ghost. Don't you dare thank me! Well, don't be so damn helpful next time. What is the... Okay, notice how there's like three on the room? I'm very curious what that means. I'm ready for the crown... Wait, oh, did I... I accidentally just am doing the same room again. In the left-hand side of the screen, underneath all my coins and everything, there's like a picture of the hat I was wearing. So I have to imagine you can change hats eventually, like different different abilities. I did get a tea bag point. Oh, redoing it got me uh, a coin. Okay. Mm, and so that's going to fill that in on the thing of... No, I was wrong. I thought it would totally fill it in in my th third bar there. It would go like... Silver, gold, and then and then blue for the uh, for the diamond, but no, not how it worked. There we go. Ooh, I'm saving up for the shop. Gotta gotta make sure I'm all geared up for that. Looks like the ghost nuts round. I'm on my own deadly traps. Here I come. I, I right jump block came up in the. Is that is this just the name of the room or something? I just saw that at the top there and chose to read it, and then I died. Because I was busy looking at that. Well, it's going to throw a curveball in there eventually, right? Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, God. This is wigging me out a little bit. I wonder if these are procedurally generated at all. Oh, I think they must be completely planned. Back to the start? Oh, God. Yeah, I think every room is, like, handcrafted, which is pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> that little part's kind of tricky. It's still not over yet. There's more going on. Oh, okay. I, like, don't have time to look over at the, uh, at the hourglass and see how I'm doing. I think I'm getting good at this. Only one death. Luckily, death doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. You can only go for the key. You can't attempt anything else on your first try. Still no sign of the ghost. Looks like I can sneak around a bit more. <laughs> I'm still here to haunt you. Uh, hey, ghost. How do you do? Fine, thank you. No, don't act so friendly. I prepared a special arrangement considering your bravery. Mm, also, one thing worth noting in case people are curious. These first rooms are all this tiny, tight little square. Uh, room designs do start changing throughout the game. I saw some screenshots. I'll enjoy more of your suffering here before unleashing it on you. Left pusher. What? So things are just more left focused? It didn't feel overly right focused last time. It seemed like it was moving me around pretty constantly. Oh, dual barrage. Oh, so it's not just the room. It's like a series of attacks. Oh God, can you start, can you get like good enough at this game to memorize what the series of attacks are known as? Bah! Oh God, no, the they queue up in a weird way. Oh, <laughs> that was tight. I have no idea. Uh, are you planning to throw me a welcome party? Ah, oh, but of course! A party with endless suffering and agony! I hope at least the buffet will be good. I don't know, evil, ancient, old, evil, sinister ghosts. He probably grew up in a time of fancy and merriment. He's probably good at hosting a dinner party. Ah, uh, so here we are, Lord. Are you ready? Is this your special arrangement? You stuck a cube in the middle? A new room design? What I've planned is far more frightening than this. I'm starting to worry. 
This new room alone is scary enough for me. I admit your ability to come back from the dead was an unpleasant surprise for me, but my ethereal genius has found the perfect match for you. For now it's time to meet the curse. Oh shit. What's that mean? What's that gonna do? Uh, uh, what have you done to me? Well, you'll find out soon enough. Am I gonna get like slower and shittier as the level goes on or something? Like what is that bar for? The uh, oh god, cursed! <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I feel like I was pretty much guaranteed going to die there. Oh, it's gonna follow me around even. The curse. The curse. Oh, so do I have to beat a curse in order to get back to the regular levels? Damn. What in the world is this inconceivable place? The walls, they're staring at me? Ugh. What, what the hell do we do? What's going on? Bah! Oh god, the, the room, it's like, um, very Cthulhu, Eldritch s sort of stuff, I guess. Because, like, the, the names are called, like, Sapadraja da Shrog, and they're just kind of not really real words or anything. Ah, it kills me a little bit every time when I lose that hat, you know? It's a very special hat to me. It has a lot of sentimental value. And it's also how people know I'm a lord. I'm not, I, I have an, oh, damn it. I have an official title, you know. I'm not just brave dude, brave peasant, brave surf, anything like that. Can't overthink it. You just jump right. Yeah, don't move around at all. Just let that shit happen. Oh god, fast ones. Ah, ah, yeah. I don't know if I have enough reflexes this morning. I'm recording this like first thing of the day. I, ha, ha. In this house. Oh, I, I want to see what that achievement was called. In his house, he waits dreaming. Escape a curse room for the first time. That's got to be a reference to something, like a story that I just am unfamiliar with. I feel an energy dragging me back to reality. I'll let it take me where I belong. Yeah, don't resist. Whenever you find some weird ethereal energy pulling you along, let it happen. Oh. He gave the curse to me when it was already full. It's totally drained now, so every time I die, it's going to start filling up. I have to assume that seems like it would make the most sense. And I'm so in- oh, god damn it. I'm so interested to see how much it actually fills up by. Not a lot. Maybe there's a- <laughs> But I'm gonna start dying a lot is the- is the- how that's gonna work. Come on. Oh, come on! The difficulty ramp up was intense! Uh, uh. No, I hate this! Come on, you idiot! I can't double jump or anything, can I? No, I can't get up there. Oh, I hate this so much. Why can't I? I'm an idiot. I don't think that's that hard to deal with. I just am unable to do it currently. Run! <laughs> it just ran straight into it. What the hell is the actual? How are you supposed to? How are you supposed to deal with that part? It's got me bamboozled. Now I'm all flustered. Thank God that curse thing does not fill quickly at all. Oh, I did it once. Now I gotta go the other way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, come on. Don't do not do me like that. It is kind of cool to start uh, really starting to like memorize the room layouts though. No, what the hell? I don't even know what got me that time. I say room layouts, but like room sequences maybe would be more accurate. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wish it told you how many times you died in a room once the room was over because... Well, maybe maybe I don't want that sort of reminder of how terribly I've done. Oh, I, okay. Now I know what's coming in that. If I can consistently make it to that point, I know what's coming. Thank God I'm not live streaming this or anything. It would just be embarrassing. It also sucks to glance up at the hourglass and realize how little has advanced when you die like that. All right, I'm committing. I'm just going to start talking so I know to leave this footage in because this is the one that I'm going to do. This is, I've, I've completely mastered it at this point. So it, it's uh, perfect to leave in. The, oh, damn it. I screwed that part up so many times. Oh my God. Okay, okay. I managed to live that part. Fuck, I don't know what to do there. Oh, you game. This game is not for me. It's a really, really well done, really well made. I just apparently don't have the reflexes for it. 
<laughs> if there's like an achievement for first time to a hundred deaths, like your first hundred deaths or whatever, which seems like it would be a thing in a game like this, I'm gonna hit it on this level. Level one dash like four or whatever in God's name it is. It's not it's not good. I'm not doing well. I don't know what to do there. You get crisscrossed. Hmm. Luckily the curse thing actually I don't know if I've ever died to that. Luckily, the curse thing fills really slowly because uh, I probably should have had to have fought my way through a couple of curse things already, but uh, they're rolling out nice and slow for me. This game really needs a I suck too bad at this, please let me move on or something because, like, what am I supposed to do? Now, I'm going to play through to the section that I've been dying at. For the last like 30 goddamn times. Well, there, I didn't do it. Okay, right here. I don't. Oh my god, I lived it for the first goddamn time ever. Well, now what's going on? What's coming up next? Is it gonna make me do the exact same entire room again? Oh god, it seems like it's just repeating. Okay, there's hope. There's hope left. I may have figured out what needs to be done here. Crouch! No! You bastard! That was clearly the end of the level. No! There's like, you have, you can't do a, a, a jump, a crouch jump. You have to jump and then crouch or else I think it doesn't work right. You like hit your head on the stupid thing up above. See that part, you hit your head on the top every fucking time. Maybe it's not about doing a jump and then a crouch. It's just about like an immaculate, immaculately timed jump. So I'm gonna, no, see that still kills you, still kills you. I don't know how long this video will be at this point, but I've been playing for half an hour. So that gives you an idea of how long <laughs> I've spent doing this one level. At least 10 minutes, possibly pushing like 15. I think that's maybe uh, not the greatest difficulty curve. I, what the fuck? There, oh my god, it is just, oh, okay, well, okay. It's not about doing crouch jumps or shit like that, it's about doing like an incredibly well-timed jump. So I need to uh, practice that or just lock it in, just, uh, I'm getting too worked up. Okay, he survives. Now just rinse and repeat, same exact thing. No need to get fancy or do any cool maneuvers or anything, just make it work. It changes slightly. That was slightly different than it was the first time. Fuck. It skips one step of the whole the whole performance there. And so I was all geared up getting ready for like the next trap that I've memorized more or less because I've done it so many goddamn times. Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. Yes. Give me all the coins, rain coins on me, give them to me, get out of the way, go, say to collect those coins, I don't want to lose them, that took so much goddamn effort, I can't even believe how many attempts that took. I'm wigging out. Casting a curse on me was not very polite of you. Also, this room was way too hard for like the fourth room. You may defy death with your ability, but now you are bound to succumb to madness. No, I didn't get the coins. No, you stupid Game, why would you take that away from me? Oh my god, I just wanted the coins. I earned that shit. I earned it. Oh my god, good goddamn. Mm, I hate this tiny room layout. I hate that I'm still in this room. I have to admit it. Are you giving up? Once I step down from this platform, I can't climb it back. That's the main feature of this room. You living beings are so weak. It's easy for you to say. You just have to float up and down. We're just confirming that that is not a real option, that we just have to deal with the fact that we're stuck on the floor afterwards. Whoa, God, there's some shit going on. <laughs> so far, so good. That was some pretty good dodginess. Oh, you got a Zigma Zag. Oh, that's the sort of shit that killed me all the time in the other room there. Oh, okay, this part is just a little bit of back and forth. It's this next part right after it that's a little bit tricky. Because it starts zigzagging all over. Oh, and you gotta jump out and around it. I did it once. I can do it again. I'm... Oh, it's you stupid. Felt like the hat got in the way. I feel like I'm all gassed from whatever it was. 20 minutes of failure. 
that trying to provide solid commentary through an entire room so that people could witness the room in its entirety uh, is much more difficult now all of a sudden. Oh no! No, that's clearly right towards the end of the room in that first part before it feels so much harder. Uh, it's so reactionary. I keep hitting my head on that stupid little spot there. Yes! Yes! Not over yet. Ah! Ah! God! Oh no! Oh, there's so much going on there! Oh, it's such a crazy little finale there! Okay. Okay, but I see what needs to happen. This room feels much more accomplishable than the previous one. I guess, I guess that's because I just learned a few things from the last one. Like, maybe this room is technically harder, but there's like very specific trap combinations that I it took a lot of trial and error to figure out how to do properly in the previous set of rooms and now all of a sudden I'm a little bit more comfortable with it so I can kind of like work to to piece that together now see right here I gotta jump I gotta make sure I get the jump nice and early to make that work okay okay out of the way mmm I don't know where to go there I you gotta jump you gotta jump and zigzag okay that one's a little uh, I can I can do like reactionary movements to a lot of what's going on and it, it more or less works out but uh, that one is a little messed up. It's a, a wee bit more difficult to keep my eyes on and track properly. <sighs> okay, this is the time though. We got this, right? Now we know <laughs> more or less what to do. Uh, less. If you're willing to put up with it, if you're willing to suffer and try and try and try again, I don't. Doesn't they could charge a hundred dollars for this game? And it would probably still, if you're willing to put the time in, you would get like a good bang for your buck. Because every individual level takes 10 minutes. It hasn't taken me that long on this one so far. But I mean like that's kind of what it's gearing up for. No, I had to run and do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> but yeah, if you're willing to commit, there's, I think there's a lot of content in store for you in this game. <laughs> Jesus. I'm, I'm filling up the curse. The curse is on its way back. Back in style. I think I've learned. I think I can handle that last little stretch now. I, th I think I've figured out what needs to happen there. Oh, new curse. Hit it long enough for a curse. Oh, it's a different room layout. I'm trapped here once again. I escape or I'll lose my mind. Oh God, I gotta learn an entire new layout. And then once I learn this one and move on from this one, then all of a sudden that means I just, that just means ugh, I just have to go back and like relearn the layout of the room that I was just repeatedly losing on. It's um, a, a bad cycle to be in. Okay, this shit is difficult because you got to thread right through the lasers and I, I keep not doing it. Oh, I got it. Now I don't know what's coming next. I hate that. I hate when you finally figure something out, and then all of a sudden you're like, all right, well, where, do, where does it go from here? How close am I to being finished? Okay. You dodge these two lasers here, and there's this that goes on. You can go hide off to the side, jump on out. You can hide over here past that, and now I don't know what's going on. Oh, wait, can I just stay ducked down there again? Okay, oh, perfect, perfect. Ah, 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 is that over yet? No, that was probably the last little part of it. Okay. Oh. I, I feel like it's uh, it's a short enough level with enough little like cheese ability where you can just kind of find like a nice little corner to duck down in and and let things play out that I feel like it's doable I got I, I can see uh, a future here where I could oh I'm an idiot I knew right as soon as I hit the jump button I knew it was too soon okay but I'm gonna get myself out of this luckily you can't get double cursed Jesus ah uh, ah uh, uh, they're just coming from all over the place what the shit's going on no come on oh that was scary that was terrifying <sighs> that was awful now I have to go back to doing this level, and I don't remember- Oh, I, I, I more or less remember the land. I more or less remember it. Oh, that's weird. That's weird that I, you can go and take an aside like that. Wow, th those lasers shoot so quickly that all of a sudden this, like, you know, it feels like it's happening at so much slower of a pace than it was just a, a moment ago. That's weird that there's room in your brain 
to come back to something like this and be like, ah, oh, yeah, I remember what was going on. I could get back. Oh, well, thing hit your head. Well, uh, it's, it's, there's a little bit more to it. There's a little bit more than just falling back into the swing immediately. Oh, oh, did I figure this out? No, that was pretty much it. That was, oh, that was the last goddamn second. Been playing for 45 minutes. I don't have enough time in my day to make it to the boss. Like, what the hell? There's a little bit of like a high-end flash game quality to this. I can't quite put my finger on it if it's the type of game or if it's the the character design or the simplicity of it or like what it is but I, I have a feeling a feeling that these developers at some point in their life worked on flash games and I have so little to base that off of it's just like a, it's just a feeling I can't do that one part I lost the ability to do that part this is more deaths per level than Super Meat Boy. Makes that game look casual. Ah, oh, I always get all panicky in that little corner there and I just start running around and... Mm. I just really want to see what's in the shop, even if I'm too pathetic to make it to the boss. I want to see at the very least what that has to offer. Oh, I'm starting to get like in a weird trance state where I'm trying to go entirely reactionary rather than uh, having having the levels still memorized like earlier I was sucking but I at least like was learning adapting getting closer and better N like th there's parts of this that I, I've, I've seen too many screens of arrows flying around and I'm like getting the order in which they happen incorrect and so I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to do things like a step too early and I'm getting all I, I'm dying more frequently in places I normally wouldn't and I think I've been playing this too long because it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm taking like a pretty dramatic drop off in terms of ability to do this. Ah. Uh, it's funny to watch the blood start to fade away and realize it doesn't matter because I'm repainting it with blood so frequently <laughs> that anything that is going away is just immediately back again, you know? Ah, oh, you fuck! I don't, I can't, that one stupid last, what I, I assume is the last set of arrows, I cannot deal with. I gotta snap myself out of this trance, get back in alert mode, and like, make something happen here. Hey, that's the most consistently I've made it to that little stretch in, in literally forever. Oh, I kinda, I kinda, I, mm, okay, I think I see. I think I know how to do it. Uh, like, in an informed way, rather than guesswork and reaction and, and getting lucky. I think I see what I need to do. I knew what needed by <laughs> Not even words anymore! I think this might actually be the hardest game I've ever played on the channel. I've played other games that are like built for rage quit quitting and unfair platformer and uh, Bennett Foddy and things like that and none of them has given me this much trouble. Holy shit. And coffee break. Oh cool, I like how it kills you in the pause man. <laughs> I guess it does like one quick wrap up kill uh, before resetting the level. Just a fun little big middle finger straight straight in your eye just be like hey you died once more by the way you still are dying i i know you're just taking a quick breather here but how about how about you die just one more time how about that see if see if that uh, gets your goat just test testing your mental resolve at this point Ugh. no Fuck you so much! I know exactly what I need to do, and I keep getting that spot. It keeps not working. I get all panicky and twitchy and do it, uh, get the timing of it not quite precise. Oh, is this game ever unforgiving with its timing precision? Like, god damn you to hell. Alright, first things first. Key yourself up here. Wait for the one to come down from above. Same thing again over this side. I think it's slightly different. I think the timing's slightly different on that side, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, either that, or I'm seeing things. I've been looking at and listening to these stupid arrows click into place for so goddamn long. I can't like, I'm I'm perceiving little microsecond differences that aren't actually there. 
That's how goddamn long. I, mean, I knew that was. I, I've been doing it long enough that I I know I know the second that I've screwed up the timing of something, like the instant, not even the second, the instant that it's the incorrect timing. It's like, oh yeah, well I guess I'll just die then because that was wrong. That was <laughs> incorrect. Is it obvious that I'm starting to wig out a little bit that I've I've been playing this for too long? See, that was fine. I knew that that timing was good. All right, I'm gonna climb on a board. Wait for it to come from above. Dodge, above, dodge. Fucking doesn't work. You probably have to crouch. You probably have to crouch and then walk over. Mm. I knew that time was wrong. This is what one hour with this game looks like. I'm, I'm a few seconds away from having been playing this for one hour. It's not healthy. <laughs> it's taking a toll. I was, one way to put it. Ugh. Oh, you just hit your stupid head. Hey, 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 just do that. Just clip your fucking stupid head on the roof. Ugh. Uh, I cracked all at once. I was fine for like 52 minutes. And all of a sudden, I feel like I figured it out. And I still can't do it. And so now all of a sudden, I'm, I'm shutting down. I'm wigging out. Crouch and run. Ugh. It doesn't work. Very well. She walks too slowly. I I'm I'm I don't know if that's correct anymore. That's that's a new one. Usually don't die to those arrows. <sighs> Trying something new. Tried to go to the left. Didn't work. Not a real option. What was I even doing there? I just let it happen. <laughs> Fuck me. This goddamn game. I went back to the first level and tried to do a key run and it just gave me a, a coin. God damn it. I thought I was being so clever. The worst part is just seeing exactly what needs to be done and not being able to do it. If I get cursed again on this level, that's fucking it for me. I can consistently make it to that end point, like, every time at this point. I just, I don't know how to do that last move. And so I just, I don't know, I just die. And that's just how it, it seems to go every time. I can't, can't do it. Every time. I've made it here, like, five times in a row now, and I just still cannot hit it. Oh, it's so hard to crouch and walk. It doesn't, ugh. Oh, you can also use trigger to crouch. All right, well, I'm going to try to use that now because trying to do, like, the proper angular thing and hold that position with, like, the D-pad ha just has not been working at all. So if I, if I have a button, a dedicated other button that does it, then maybe I'll stand a chance. Whatever that groove was that I fell in, it's gone. It was temporary. What's the update on time? Hour 15? Fuck me. Ah! Oh god, oh please be the end. Ah! No, it's not the end! It's not the fucking end. I finally did the f spot that I've- it, it does require crouching. It does require crouching. But there's still more to the level after that. Ah! I hardly even care anymore. This is- I hit a- I hit a hard fucking wall. I- I'm not even paying attention anymore. Oh, I'm not, I can't, I don't have it in me. I, I straight up don't. I, I wanted to see what the shop was all about. I was really legitimately curious in that. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. Fuck, fuck me. Just stretching my legs. That's, I'm done. That's all of uh, Killer Chambers for today. It, it won. The game won. I suck too fucking much at it, apparently. I can't even do the first world. I, it's two more levels I had to clear before I could even attempt the boss. Ooh.